Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Griffith with Ixia, and I'm here to talk about your visibility into the actual customer experience and maybe some of the challenges you're experiencing along the way. What are some of those everyday challenges? Well, mean time to resolution is a huge one. 25% of critical issues will take more than 44 hours to resolve, and at an average cost of $100,000 an hour, what's it costing you? Now, there are a lot of parts to the mean time to resolve. There's the mean time to alert, the mean time to fix, the mean time to verify. Those things typically don't take very long. You know you have a problem, you know you're gonna fix it, and you can pretty easily verify whether it's still broken or not. What's the hard part? Is that mean time to identify. That's the hours to days. That's the part that causes all the problems. What if you could shorten that so that it was also minutes to hours? Well, you're saving a lot of money and your customers are having a better experience. Let's talk about anecdotal monitoring where your users come in and tell you, oh, I think the network's down, or my email's slow, the firewall blocking Facebook. My favorite from my days was the Wi-Fi in the conference room wasn't very good last week. We had a meeting and everybody was slow. Well, that doesn't help me very much now, does it? Because I wasn't there last week. So what's the problem with that? Well, 70% of the time, your organization is going to learn about its problems directly from the customer. And they only report less than 70 to 80% of the time. So what that means is you're about 50% of the time where you don't know you have an issue because your customers are tired of telling you about it. Another challenge would be your cloud. How are you able to monitor what's going on in your cloud? Well, a survey was taken and a lot of answers were given. And a friend of mine was giving this presentation and he had a guy in the front row yell out, 91% are lying. Well, <laughs> maybe not 91%, but it's probably a good portion that really should be in that I don't know. So how do we know what's going on in the cloud and do we know what it costs us if we don't know? Well, with a 10% increase in time for people to complete their work, the average employee works eight hours a day, you're losing about $20 and 48 minutes per employee per day. And at 100 employees, it's about $2,000 a day. Now that may not sound like much, but let's take that out to over the course of a year. $500,000 and 1.2 million working minutes for every 100 employees. That's like hiring somebody to sit around all year and do absolutely nothing. And if you're hiring for that job, I'm available and I'll send you my resume. So we have all these problems to solve. We have to reduce the time it takes to figure out what's wrong. We have to get rid of learning about these problems from our end users. We have to know what's going on in the cloud and we have to know how it's going to behave before we put things there. And then we have to figure out how much does this cost us when we don't know. And how are we going to do all of that? We're going to do that with Hawkeye from Ixia. We're going to help you achieve faster and more predictable deployments. We're going to help you detect outages and slowdowns with active monitoring. Instead of passively waiting for something to tell you it's wrong, we're going to tell you in advance. We're going to do this through low cost endpoints, either hardware or software. We're going to help you future-proof that cloud by knowing in advance what's going in there and how it's going to behave. We're going to help by scaling out to thousands of endpoints so you don't have to worry that you're going to outgrow as you grow. And we're going to help you tie that into your existing automation and integrate with your other systems. You may already have a bunch of reporting systems out there, but we can tie into that and give them the information before the problem so they can start acting in their automated processes before you tell them. And how do we give you that information? We do it by drilling down on all the data we collect from all the tests that we run. We give you a simple pass-fail test. So instead of being yellow or 74%, is 74% good? I don't know, but I know red and green. And if we tell you it's green, it's good. And if we tell you it's red, then it's bad. And you know you have something you have to look at. And these are all based on thresholds that you can set, customized for your environment. So you're not doing it based on some out of the box, this should work for everybody. We're going to give you reports that are simple to understand. We're going to show you what test was run, what values we received, and what your threshold was, and whether you passed or failed. So you'll know exactly where that problem was. This goes to that mean time to identify. If one of these is red, I know where my problem is. And we've now cut that down from hours to minutes. We're going to look at the MOS score because video and voice are now some of the most important applications running in your environment. But you don't often have a good idea because it's just based on the end user telling you, ah, it didn't sound so good. But with a MOS score, you'll know exactly what to expect. And because we're running tests, even when your users aren't using the voice or the video systems, you'll know what to expect. You'll know what's good. You'll know what's acceptable.
With Hawkeye from Ixia and our simple deployment architecture, we can live in the cloud, in a data center, we can live in your conference rooms, we can live in your end users' devices, we can be anywhere you need us to be. With our custom hardware, our cloud-based endpoints that can run on a Docker engine so you can place it just about anywhere, or even our software endpoints which can run on an iPhone or an Android, you're sure to be able to test from anywhere your customers are using and accessing data. Let's go back to that Wi-Fi issue. Typically, we're being told that Wi-Fi doesn't behave. We may have tested before we set it up, but that was with an empty building. Or our APs are telling us that up in the ceiling, everything is fantastic. But what about down at the users? Well, by deploying endpoints that are actually running Wi-Fi tests in remote locations, you'll know exactly what to expect before your users jump on the Wi-Fi. You'll be able to tell how long does it take to access? How long does it take to send data? How good is the connectivity? How many APs am I actually hearing? What's the interference level? All of these questions will be answered for you from the customer point of view as opposed to the AP, so you'll know what they're experiencing. And we take that a step further by running actual applications over the Wi-Fi. You'll know exactly what speed your data was moving. You'll know how long it took to get from point A to point B all across the Wi-Fi. And by comparing that to these same tests on your wired, you'll know if you're getting the experience you expect out of your Wi-Fi. So Hawkeye brings end-to-end -end customer experience measurements. We start with the end customer equipment where we're doing the simple pings, con continuity checks, round trip time. How long does it take to get from the end customer equipment to the services? Then when we're there, how long does it take for an application to run? How long does it take my web page to load? Or how long does it take my web server to respond to my end users? How much data am I actually moving? Am I getting an SLA as promised by my provider? Or, even more importantly, am I giving an SLA to my end users that I've promised? And then there's that cloud. We've got Office 365 or Skype, and we used to have no visibility. All we could do is say, well, it must be the cloud. Now, you can run an actual Skype call or load an actual email from Office 365 via one of our endpoints and know exactly how it's behaving when your customers aren't even using the systems. We also bring the ability to show you what's happening outside your own environment. One of the big problems is once it leaves your router and it's out in the ether, what happens? How do you know? All you do is call your provider and give them the information your end users give you. It's slow. It's not working. With our network path discovery, we're able to show you every step along the way that your traffic takes. We'll show you in a multi-path or a SD-WAN if we're taking multiple hops. We can spell those out. You can then go to your provider with the actual information that this is the endpoint that is causing us problems. They can turn around and solve that more quickly, which gives you that mean time to identify and transfers it to your provider. So now your SLA is being met and the SLA you promised your customers is being met. So overall, we're talking about all of the use cases for Hawkeye. Campus, LAN, WAN. Before you roll out a new branch, is it going to behave like you expect? We call that predictive experience. What will it be when my customers get there? You'll know before they go. How will my SaaS run? Is it the network or the application? By testing every piece of this from every endpoint, you'll know where the problem lies. That path discovery, the hop by hop, gives you visibility into things you never had visibility into before and gives you the ability to reduce that mean time to identify, which is so critical to saving your money and your customers' experience. And then there's the cloud. Typically we were blind. Now we can tell you exactly what to expect. And as you think about moving another application or another set of users into the cloud, you'll know what they can expect from their performance. Well, maybe we've touched on a couple of points that are critical to your environment and you have some more questions. If you do, please reach out to your Ixia sales team or better yet, reach out to your Ixia partner. Thanks for watching.